Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Iridoc Zero today. We're going to open a few different special things. First, we have Alakazam Broken V-Box, Stark Sylveon Celebrations, Charizard Pikachu Collection Fall Chest, I believe. And last but not least, the Dark Charizard Mini 10. The reason I'm opening all of these is because I'm actually going on vacation tomorrow. So this will be the video for Saturday. Um, a few hours ago, you may have seen the video for Wednesday, which is today. But like I said, uh, I'm gonna be on vacation, so I won't be posting again until next Wednesday. So this is going to also count for the video on Saturday that I would have posted. So that out of the way, before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please give the video a big thumbs up if you like the content. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, and then also throughout the week when I see cool things pop up or I find cool things to talk about or to open. And if you're new to the channel, I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, be a member of the channel, and don't miss a single video. That being said, I think what we'll do is let's go ahead and start with this boy here. This is the fall 2020 uh, little lunchbox, lunchbox chest. Um, so according to this, it has three foil cards there, Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon five booster packs, and much more. Which I'm assuming is, you know, the stuff here. The little folder, you got some sticker packs. Um, and then according to this, there's a Darkness Ablaze. Um, this says Cosmic, uh, Cosmic Eclipse. I don't think there actually is Cosmic Eclipse in this from what I've seen on other opening videos, but let's find out for ourselves. Hope everyone is doing well. All right, so we got this Jumbo Boy and we got this Charizard. If you're wondering where can you find this, um, at the time of this posting, which is about midnight on Wednesday morning, um, these are actually available on the Target website for delivery. They're $24.99. Um, and I also have been seeing these in stock in person Oh, this is a pretty cool one, actually. I've seen them in person at Target the last uh, two weeks now. So let's see if I can get these out without damaging them too much. So here's Rillaboom, which it looks like this is from the Sword and Shield base set. Next up we got, let's see, how can I open this? without, all right, there we go. Here's the Cinderace. And last but not least, there's the Inteleon. These are all of our Sword and Shield starters. Who is your favorite? I think most people would probably say Cinderace because he's the fire type and people love fire Pokemon and you know score bunny was pretty cool all right so let's see what do we got we got a vivid voltage another vivid voltage <laughs> out of all things a rebel clash sword and shield base and another sword and shield base so definitely no cosmic eclipse they're all sword and shield packs which I guess is probably what's expected um, I'm gonna take out the code card if you've seen any of my prior videos, I am currently saving all of the code cards for Black Friday's video. It will be a massive video where I give away, let me grab them here real quick, where I give away a bunch of code cards. This is what I have so far. And I'm going to keep adding to this pile every Monday and Wednesday, every pack I open. Um, okay, so here we got the Jumbo VMAX Pikachu, VMAX Charizard stickers. Set that to the side. 
we got a uh, Cinderace, Centelion, and uh, Rillaboom. Is that his name again? Yeah, Rillaboom. Uh, some more of the same stickers, but smaller. And some more of these same stickers, but smaller. If you've ever opened one of these chests, they pretty much all come with the same thing. You know, you got your booster packs as the main event, and then you got a bunch of other plastic and crap. Pretty cool VMAX little 60 card por portfolio. I think this probably enough to hold a full deck maybe. I don't know. Don't really care too much about that. And then we got this little writing pad thing. And it looks like that's it. So I like having these little lunch boxes. Um, not to put food in because I never get to eat food on my shifts. But I think it's great to hold Pokemon cards in. So I'm going to set all of those little goodies to the side. And let's see, we got two Sword and Shield, a Rebel Clash, and two Vivid Voltage. I'm going to save these for last. Um, let's do the Rebel Clash first. I definitely don't have everything from Rebel Clash, but I think I have a good amount of everything besides, you know, the secret rares and whatnot. Set that over there. One, two, three, four. I haven't opened Rebel Clash in such a long time. And a bomb of snow. And no surprise, nothing I care about whatsoever in that one. I know people have been really down on Rebel Clash, calling it Rebel Trash, which I think is kind of funny. Maybe it's a little bit of an obvious play on words or pun or whatever you want to call it, but I don't know. It's whatever. And huh, it's a cool looking Boltund Hollow. Um, I actually have most of this sword and shield expansions, but I don't have the base set whatsoever. So I am more than happy to open any of the sword and shield base set. I still need basically all of them. Um, I think I've opened a few random packs here and there, but I don't have a binder of them whatsoever. So if I needed to start a binder, I would probably, I would probably have to go through a billion of my old boxes and track down all of the random sword and shield base sets. And I don't know. I just don't have enough sword and shield base sets to make the effort, you know? I think I probably would if I was able to actually buy sword and shield base set booster, booster packs. But really the only reason I have any of them, shit ninja, the only reason I have any sword and shield uh, base sets are primarily from things like this where you get like one or two or also when you look at um, I guess it's like in the first partner packs you have you know usually like a, a sword and shield base set and whatever is the current the current pack that came out around the time that that first first partner pack came out so, in any case, still no fat rainbow Pikachu. Um, but yeah, if I was able to buy Sword and Shield, I would definitely collect them more seriously. But I just don't have enough of them, so I've never made an effort to, you know, start a whole binder because I have, like, I don't know, 30 cards or whatever it is. Um, this Alakazam box I got at Walmart like a week ago. The glue is super stuck here on the side, even though it was like already damaged. Um, I've never opened 
this Alakazam box before. All right, I'm gonna take the code card, throw some trash in the trash. Kind of bent looking promo Alakazam, but pretty good card. We got the jumbo, oh, we got the jumbo boy. Um, I don't know if it's the same for this one, but if any of you guys, well, probably several of you, most of you have been collecting the first partner packs and you have probably noticed that some of the jumbo cards are not the same size, which is really annoying because ones like this I have found are bigger than the first partner packs, which is really annoying because I have no idea where to put these things because they don't fit in the first partner pack uh, binder. Anyway, um, I want to say this box is 20, 20 bucks, which I think is a, a good deal. You're getting, there's battle styles here. Uh, you're getting four booster packs and two of them are Vivid Voltage. Actually, no, I lied. You got Rebel Clash, a Vivid Voltage, a Darkness of Blaze, and a Battle Styles. Um, I don't know if, and Tay, if you consider paying about four bucks per pack at retail for eight, 12, 16. So 16 bucks plus, you know, you got a promo card. I guess you can't be too upset about that. However, if you buy Rebel Clash, Vivid Voltage, Darkness, of Blaze, like on eBay, or from some third party seller, they are definitely more than four bucks for any of those packs, you know? Um, this is our next Rebel Clash. Unless I get something good, I'm not, I'm not gonna pull up Poke Collector. If you guys use that website where you can track all your collections of each set, um, I definitely like to use that. But unless I get something that I know is new, I'm just not even going to bother pulling up that website. Um, I have a pretty good idea off the top of my head. One, two, three, four. I have a pretty good idea off the top of my head that for all of the Sword and Shield expansion sets, I pretty much have all of the main set. You know, I just don't have like the rainbows and the alternate arts and that sort of thing. Um, what was this one? Dark Piece of Blaze. Put that over there. And last we got a Vivid Voltage. So unless I get some sort of rainbow, I definitely don't feel the need to waste anybody's time pulling up my set list. Um, what are we opening? Vivid Voltage again. Still no Pikachu. Um, hopefully, let's see, what should I open next? I guess this one. Hopefully you don't think that I'm going too fast through all these. Um, if I got something good, I just hurt myself. If I got something good, I would probably linger a bit, but so far I'm not getting any V cards, no V Max cards, just the promo cards. Um, it's funny is, you know, people are getting cards like this graded, which I mean, this one is probably pretty good. I just don't understand who is actually paying the $150 or whatever to send this to PSA. And then who's going to pay $200 or $300 in the third party market to get a promo card that you can easily buy yourself? So, I don't know. But I guess at the same time, if people want to spend their money however they spend their money, good for them. Definitely can't hate all right, so what do we have here? We got a Vivid, a Battle Styles, and four of these boys. I'm gonna do those last. All right, let's do the Battle Styles first. 
Um, so yeah, like I said, I have a majority of any of the cards that we would get, unless it's one of those cards at the end of the set. I think for battle styles, you know, obviously the one that people care about is Nega Slash. That's what everyone cares about. It looks like a sleepy Tyranitar, but he is in fact a sword with a mind of his own. Uh, people like to talk about certain pull rates in different types of sets. I want to believe that you can get a rainbow Pikachu in any set. Maybe a booster pack, maybe an ETB, maybe a random box, maybe it's a Lucario. Lucario kind of looks like a fat rainbow Pikachu. If you squint really hard and close your eyes. All right, so far, not getting much of anything. Not a single card that I don't already have, which, as I always say, is fine. Um, let's just do this the regular way. And nothing. Um, I think the hit is usually in the third, the third slot. Um, but yeah, I don't really care too much if we're not getting anything good. Because you, you need all the cards, right? You're not just trying to get a gold Mew, for instance, because say you get like 24 gold Mews, but then, hey, somebody might need this flying Pikachu V. So, I don't know, oh, Reshiram. This is a cool card to get if you do it just right. Could barely see anything. Um, I forget what the black one is, it might be I don't know, I'm not even gonna guess. But I'm pretty sure I have this one. I do not have the other one that looks darker. Um, I'm gonna pull up Pokelector. Which, like I said, if you're interested, it's a great way to keep track. Um, it's P-O-K-E-L-L-E-C-T-O-R.com. It's like collector, but Pokelector. So let's see here, I'm gonna... It might be... Wait, was that Restoram? Yeah, that was Restoram. I don't know. Um, take that away. And we got a Palkia, Yavetl, Cosmog, and Professor's Research. Um, so I'm just checking now. Yeah, it's Zekrom. That's actually who I was gonna say, but I don't want to look stupid. Um, I do have that Reshiram that I just pulled. What I did need, though, is a Garchomp, a Donphan, a Zekrom, a Xerneas, and Tapu Lele. Who else do I need? Gardevoir, EX, Delta Species, uh, Unknown, not Unknown, Umbreon, Team Magma Groudon, Shiny Magikarp, Dark Gyarados, and a Charizard. So I think I have a good amount. Um, let's see, let's get this promo out of here. Out of here somehow. Here's our Dark, dark Sylveon. Um, here is the Jumbo Dark Sylveon. I'm pretty sure that these ones do fit in the first partner pack binder. If you saw my previous video when I opened the Urshifu Walmart boxes, those ones actually do not fit, which is kind of upsetting. We have, how many packs do we have? 
We got one celebration, two celebration, three celebration, four celebration, a darkness ablaze, and a battle styles. All right. Let's do battle styles first because nobody likes battle styles. Um, battle styles is, believe it or not, the set that came out when I got back into Pokemon cards which was January of this year. And it actually started with just being really nostalgic for base set. And so what I ended up doing was I bought a base set, which at the time I thought was complete because it had all 150 Pokemon. But what I didn't realize was it was all 150 Pokemon spread across jungle, base, and fossil. Meaning, for instance, there's like a, a Raichu in base set, and there's also a Raichu in jungle. And so what they did was they basically just gave me one through 151, regardless of if it was in jungle or fossil or whatever. They basically just gave me one of each Pokemon, which, I don't know, I guess I should have probably done a better job reviewing what I was actually buying, but it's fine. So after that, you know, I ended up tracking down each card that I needed individually to end up getting a complete master set of base Flying Pikachu VMAX getting a complete base set, and then I went and got complete jungle and complete fossil. And then unfortunately it spiraled all downhill where I completed Gym Challenge and Gym Heroes and Team Rocket and nothing in this one. What other ones? Uh, Southern Islands, which is a good set. Um, oh, and also Base Set 2, which, funny story about Base Set 2 is I actually had zero intention, Professor's Research, I had zero intention to actually do Base Set 2, and then I just got more and more obsessed, unfortunately. And look at me now, almost a year later, spending God knows how much, pretty much on a weekly basis. And it's been a good time. I've learned a lot about the hobby. I've not met, I haven't met anybody through Pokemon cards, but I want to say I, I have found a lot of really cool channels and people who have inspired me to continue making videos. So it's been a fun time. Um, so let's just see, we got this Alkazam, a Dark Sylveon, Lance's Charizard, and then we had these three from that collector's tin. Um, what else did we have? We had this Reshiram. Overall, what else was there? Professor's Research Full Art. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and a Flying Pikachu. Overall, <laughs> didn't get anything I needed from however many packs we just opened. But what I do want to say is if you enjoyed the video, you would like to see more, please hit that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm, helps me reach out to more and more fans and fellow collectors such as yourself, maybe your best friend, maybe your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or whatever friend. So hit the subscribe button, it would mean a lot to me. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Take care, bye bye.